is good everybody and welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have my fast lane 2018 predictions as you know the pay-per-view is coming up on sunday it is our last stop before wrestlemania 34 supposedly supposed to be a very exciting time for wwe but if you turn on the tv and watch monday night raw and smackdown live it is just not very good television man there will be like one to two positive things out of the whole entire two to three hour show and it is just i don't know man it's hard to see because there's so much talent on this roster and it just seems like the booking is so lazy and like they just don't give a crap about it but hopefully after fast lane ends man we can pick it up heading on into wrestlemania i hope so so let's go ahead and get into these predictions we got six Six matches to cover so let's get started Starting things off, guys, we have a tag team match between Becky Lynch and Naomi taking on Natalya and Carmella. And if you're like me, guys, you really don't give a crap about this match. I'm not invested in this at all. I feel like this match is very forced. They just wanted to fill up their card, and this was a way to get six matches. They just took um, two groups of women, threw them in a tag team match, and that was it. As you know, Becky Lynch defeated Carmella on SmackDown Live, and I guess this is just, I don't know, man, just taking women and throwing them in a, uh, in a multi-man match. That's what they do every single week on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. So what makes a pay-per-view any different? That's all I have to say. I'm going to go with Becky Lynch and Naomi picking up the win. Next up, guys, we have the singles match between 2018 Royal Rumble winner Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Rusev with Aiden English in a singles match right here. And they sort of booked themselves into a corner because if Rusev were to pick up the win, you're hurting your, you know, your Royal Rumble winner who's supposed to look very strong going into WrestleMania. But on the other hand, you are pretty much hurting, once again, your pretty much most over talent in Rusev. Rusev. Uh, Rusev Day is chanted all over the nation in every promotion, as you saw in Ring of Honor, and I just don't agree with this match. What they should have done is had John Cena come out, challenge Nakamura to a match at Fastlane. Stipulation being, if John Cena wins, he gets the main event WrestleMania instead of Nakamura. That way, you don't have Rusev taking an L here. You would have had John Cena versus Nakamura, another, you know, big-time match for Fastlane. You could have kept your main event a, a Fatal 5-Way instead of forcing a six-pack challenge, and it would have been a lot better booking decision. Here, you're going to have Shinsuke go over versus Rusev. That's my prediction. Shinsuke will pick up the win, and you're going to have Rusev looking even worse going into WrestleMania. And I don't know where they're going with this. They need to give Rusev something. You know, he's so over right now, and they definitely need to give the man a push. Next up, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match between Charlotte Flair and Ruby Riot. Hate to say it, but uh, Ruby Riot is just a stepping stone to get to WrestleMania between Charlotte and Asuka. Charlotte will retain the championship here. She will go on to fight Asuka at WrestleMania 34. I guarantee on Monday Night Raw after Fastlane, we will see uh, Asuka come out and she will challenge Charlotte Flair. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. That'll be a great WrestleMania match to add to the card. So I'm going with Charlotte picking up the win over Ruby Riot in this match. Up next, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match between The Usos and The New Day. You know this match is probably going to be match of the night as far as wrestling goes. These guys always bring it. The Usos are the best team on SmackDown Live. Probably the best team in the whole WWE for sure. And The New Day always bring it. These guys have great in-ring chemistry. This is probably going to tear the freaking house down. I'm going to go with The Usos retaining here. I think it's weird that SmackDown Live is just rehashing this feud that we had last year. However, it will be a great match. I'm just excited to see who gets the opportunity going into WrestleMania at 34. Are they going to do a multi-man match or are they just going to make it you know a freaking regular tag team match we'll have to see but i'm going with the usos retaining up next we have the united states championship match between bobby Roode and randy orton and this feud has just been awful man them talking about the smackdown live top 10 and having jinder mahal involved and just all the different promos going back and forth have just been terrible man both of these guys need to be healed really really fast Bobby Roode worse than Randy Orton. You know, Randy Orton's probably been faced for over a year now, so he really is desperate for a heel turn, but Bobby Roode is just not entertaining as a face. He's really, like, he's almost cringeworthy uh, as a face, and I hate his promos. He's sort of like Seth Rollins. It's just not natural, and it comes off really, really forced and weird and scripted, and I hate it, so... I would like to see both of these guys turn heel, but I guarantee before the match on Sunday that either Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon will take to Twitter, and they're going to tweet out that they are adding Jinder Mahal to this match. I'm going to go ahead and claim that right now. 
guarantee this is a triple threat match at Fastlane. If that doesn't happen, Jinder Mahal will be involved somehow. He'll come out and cost one of the guys the match, or he'll come out and coloss them, leading to a no D or leading to a disqualification, leading to a match at WrestleMania or something. That's what I'm going to predict for this. But if none of that happens, I guarantee Bobby Roode retains the championship. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have our main event of the night. Six-pack challenge for the WWE Championship between champion AJ Styles, John Cena, Trash Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. This match should be very entertaining. I predict a lot of guys to get a lot of spots in. Hopefully, this match does live up to the expectations. I know we were supposed to get a triple threat, and then we had some random booking decisions. And, you know, a few weeks later, we have a six-pack challenge. Ziggler gets added. Corbin gets added. Cena gets added so I don't know man very unpredictable coming into this match I think that AJ is going to retain here I think they're going to give us the dream match between Styles and Nakamura at Wrestlemania but you never know guys because you know they don't ever give us what we want you know we don't want Roman Reigns we want Rusev Day to be pushed but you know they just never do what we ask so you never know going into this matchup I would love to see Dolph Ziggler win here but I think they are going to give us the dream match I'm going to predict they give us the dream match but I am going to be a part of me is going to be pulling for Dolph Ziggler but that pretty much does it for the main event, guys. I think this pay-per-view should be pretty decent. I know there are a lot of matches on this card that are just blah, but hopefully this main event and uh, a few other matches don't disappoint me. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like, comment down below who you think is going to pull out the victory in all of these matches at Fastlane. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.